Hi, this is Garrett from Zetamax.com. Behind the camera is Max Hi. from Zetamax.com. Um, today we're going to present a little little project we did. Um, a few days ago we put up a little demonstration where I showed a similar device to a 6-axis controller or Nintendo Wii or whatever. Um, we put that together using a Q-Block study board, uh, accelerometers from Dimension Engineering, and a uh, little custom board I made, which I can't release the details of right now, but uh, it basically implements an HID portal, meaning from a simple basic programmable controller like Q-Block, you can send input to a PC that's a keyboard or a joystick or a mouse, basically anything you want. What I've done is implemented it as a joystick. Um, and we decided, since our demo program used a uh, flight simulator, we put everything into an actual airplane. Um, see here we've got a, uh, a Corsair, a World War II era airplane. And we've got a propeller up here. Um, I've got uh, joystick buttons, one and two. I've got a uh, input going into the into the airplane, which contains all the good stuff. Um, later on, well, actually, I think we'll just leave it to the photos to uh, show you the insides of this. But uh, you know, I've got this uh, taped up right now, so I don't want to take it all apart. But uh, there's also photos at ZetaMax.com if you want to go there, and you can see the guts of what makes this work. Cool. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is power it up, kind of rummage around here, and <coughs> the propeller starts spinning. That's kind of a cool feature. Did you put the propeller on there? Hmm? Did you put the propeller on there? Or, uh, the I mean the motor? The motor's in there, yeah. That's oh, why okay. That's why it's spinning. Okay. So we're going to load up the game. Um, this is a, just a demo for Heroes of the Pacific. It's uh, early World War II simulation game. I'm just going to set that to joystick. Um, everything looks good. Just uh, go back, go back again, and let's choose a mission. Let's try Pearl Harbor. Skip that. Um, doesn't this look, plane look amazingly familiar? Oh yeah! Is, is that, is that, that so, same plane? It is the exact huh. same airplane. Holy! It is a Corsair. Holy cow! So, Holy cow. they've actually got their, uh, it looks like their propeller is going backwards. Oh. This is aerodynamic, dynamically okay. correct, but it uh, okay. doesn't really matter since it doesn't fly. But uh, we're going to go ahead, next, no, we don't want to use that airplane, we just uh, select. We use arcade because that will automatically recenter the airplane once we quit putting an uh, input in. But otherwise, with accelerometer based joystick, it would get a little too crazy. Um, okay. All right, that's it. So it's uh, the mission here is to defend Pearl Harbor. Okay. And we're just going to skip the intro. So we're sitting on on the uh, runway, and I'm going to increase the throttle. And if you notice, my actual propeller starts to spin faster. Do I get a little closer so we can? Well, we don't want to block the oh, okay. too much. Oh, go up, go up, oh. oh. Huh. Nice. So we've this got is great. Some, uh, we've got some tweaking to do of the actual processing of the input. Do you have to hold the throttle? No. No? Okay. Oh, and you can shoot with the buttons, right? Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Okay. Can I try it too? Sure. All right, all right. I actually here. got to make a little more sensitive around zero. Okay. But, uh, obviously, I can control it pretty well, especially turning. Nice. Go ahead and try to... This would be a gr great thing for kids to do who like video games. You know, in yeah. their spare time, they could mess with the H HID and make it. <laughs> Well, it's a little challenging. But, I mean, uh, some smart kid probably could do it. I probably couldn't, but... <laughs> okay. 
Dang. This is nice. Ooh. Oh no! Oh no! Obviously, I turned down the throttle, okay. and uh, we didn't have any more power. Okay. Didn't have enough power to climb. Okay. So. So can I try it too? Sure, you can go ahead. Okay. And start the mission. All right. Turn the yeah. throttle all the way down. And. All right. Need the so I just I just move it around. Yeah. You'll have to you'll have to move it up pretty high. Now turn that throttle all the way okay. counterclockwise. Oh, look at this. Uh-oh. <laughs> so remember, just turning the airplane is not going to get you anywhere. You have to actually tilt it to roll the airplane into a turn. Okay, i got to get back on ground zero. Oh, i uh, got to get back you on. You actually the lost the... Uh, Oh, there you let's go. got you back in. All right, let's go. Open plane. Shoot. So yeah, I definitely got to yeah. tweak the code a little bit, make it more responsive. But uh, that's actually easy enough to do. And this is a. Oh. I haven't changed the code at all since when I, okay, I go did the demo. Let me use now. Yeah, little arrow's going to oh, show you. Go. Let me see if I can do. You just fired a rocket. Oh, I did? Yep. Okay, you yeah. dive a little bit. Oh. Ah. <laughs> <Nice. laughs> oh. 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 Okay, I think that's, that's good enough for me. Yeah. i got to work on my... This is really tiring. Yeah, it's ex exercise. Yeah, it's good exercise. Yeah. Maybe okay. you should make one for golf, too. Like, well, like golf. a golf simulator? Yeah, put it in a golf <laughs> probably do it. Well, but uh, anyway, yeah, I'll, I'll you that's the airplane it. joystick. Yeah. Um, you finish it up here. Of course, we've actually got uh, motor, like kind of simulates the motor lights. Uh, kind of cool. Cool. Awesome. Thanks a lot for your uh, insight on this, Garrett. That was a lot of fun to, to uh, a lot of fun to do. Are we done here now? Yeah. Okay. Cool.